Hey there and welcome back to another video of how to multiply. This time we will be using the distributive property and let's get started right on into it. First step, we are going to break apart our two factors. 19 can be broken apart into 10 plus 9 and 52 can be broken apart into 50 plus 2. Now in the distributive model, our numbers that have been broken apart are going to be multiplied by each other. In other words, we are going to distribute them among the other numbers. Here we are going to rewrite 10 plus 9 and 50 plus 2. Remember these numbers represent 19 and 52. Inside the parentheses, we have an addition sign because that is how you make the numbers. But in between the two numbers, we are going to put a multiplication sign because these two factors need to be multiplied together. Now from the next step, pay close attention to the arrows. They are your best friend over here. 10 times 50 represents the 1 and 19 and the 5 and 52 being multiplied together. Next we add the addition sign. All of these answers are going to be added together and we're going to multiply that 10 by the 2. This is representing the 1 in 19 being multiplied by the 2 in 19. Again, we're going to add all of our partial products. These numbers that we are writing down right now are called partial products. They are part of our answer. Here we are moving to the 9. We are going to multiply the 9 by each of the other numbers, starting with 50. 9 times 50 represents the 9 and 19 times the 5 and 52. And lastly, 9 times 2, which is the 1's in 19 and 52, being multiplied together as well. After you have written all of these numbers down, you are going to write the product to each one below. 10 times 50 equals 500. We're going to add all the partial products together. Next, we have 10 times 2, which equals 20. Again, we're going to add, and our next partial product is 9 times 50, which equals 450. And lastly, 9 times 2, which equals 18. Here you have your four partial products. To get your final answer, you're going to add them all up. 500 plus 450 plus 20 plus 18 I'm doing all of this mentally, so I'm picking the numbers that are easier to add first. My hundreds, my tens, and then my ones. And you get a product of 988. There you go, that's the distributive property. Break apart, distribute, spread the multiplication. And here you see a list of the steps that we just took. Break apart the factors. You multiply the tens from the first factor by the tens in the second factor. That is when we did 10 times 50. Then you take the tens times the ones in the second factor. That would be when we did 10 times 2, so on and so forth. Read through these steps if they are helpful to you. Um, they point to the part of the problem where we did that step. And if this video is helpful to you, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about part of the problem, go ahead and leave a comment below the question and feel free to send me pictures of the examples that you guys did on your own. Have fun multiplying.